Hello Cardfighters, welcome to a new uh, match video on the channel and today we're going to do a little bit different with an introduction video on what we're going to play and in this first uh, addition to this we are introduced to a new person on the channel let me introduce you guys to Dave I'm Dafe. hello there uh, we're going to play Camp Blue versus the magic Aqua Man of the Sea Aqua Force and yeah it's just a match between the beautiful Aqua Demons of the Sea Best Kirk and versus the Magic G. <laughs> <laughs> you can basically say it's it's a match between who's going to be the yeah, real ruler of the it, sea. We had to confess to the McCabe. <laughs> Damn boy! <laughs> no problem, no problem. So uh, we're going to have a very uh, uh, basic fight of the yeah. extra booster uh, two from Asia Circuit Champions. Uh, protect against Axel, Arcaforce against Grand Blue. So, without further ado, let's go right into the shuffling yeah. of the of our deck, and we're going to decide who's going to be first. And it's yeah, it's a very interesting matchup uh, because yeah. Aqua Force is of course uh, a very interesting Axel clan that's focused around resetting the rear guards. Yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's I think the only real the, the only real counter to the Protect matchups because Protect is very annoying with Oracle Think Tank, yeah. and Grand Blue has a good. Uh, way to keep pressure on with Beskirk's critical, but yeah. if I have a good early rush, then maybe I can get break yeah. th through your defenses. But let's see how it yeah. will work out in this uh, fight video. I just hope I got some good fucking mail. Yeah, that's great. So checks in the center and stand, stand up, up, my vanguard, and draw for turn. Yeah, a guiding zombie, <laughs> officer cadet Eric. <laughs> Come down with Eric. <laughs> uh, right. Lights uh, Soldier Pingwing, skill of my starter, draw one, turn it. Yeah? Yes. Okay, top deck skills. Not good. Okay, I write. Then the Gamma Mario, skill of Kinding Zombie, draw. Okay. Attack your Vanguard for eight. Uh, no guard. Okay, it's better than nothing. Demo check. Yeah. So we're getting, <laughs> we're getting doubles. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> Alright, stand and draw. Ooh, this is very spicy indeed. I will write Marine General of the Rest of the Side Elgos. Then I will call Tidal Assault. God damn it. Tidal Assault will attack your finger. I will use Tidal Assault skill. When it attacks, I can solve this one card and it will restand. Hmm. What do I do? I will take that one. No trigger. That's very lucky indeed. Yeah. Then I will attack again with Tidal Assault for 9k. Mm, I will card it. Alright, then I will attack with Elgos. His skill when it's on the Vanguard Circle, when I attack second battle or more, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast another card, and I can re resend one of my rear guards. Yeah. 9k to Vanguard. 9k, uh, guard. It gets no bad. Trigger check. Crit. Crit power to Tidal Ooh. Assault. Tell us all, 90k to Vanguard. Yeah, this is 28. Turn it! Okay, stand up. And two. Okay, okay. I write the skill of Tendikawa Mario. I count the best one card, put one into soul, then mill the top three cards. No, no. God damn it. <laughs> okay, and I guess I will take. Mm, yeah, I will take Moonshade, add it to my hand. That's for skill. I will go. One shade. Come the double. I'll attack the Vanguard for mine for now. Then activate the skill. Mill the top two cards. Spicy. Now it gets plus 4k, so 30 on the Vanguard. So it gets. Next star 4. Yeah. Um, for I will take this one. Draw trigger, power to Vanguard, and I draw one card. Okay. We get the tri <laughs> damage triggers on the Axel side. That's the way yeah. I want to see things. Nine rear guard. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Uh, nine to rear guard. Um, I will take this one. Damn it. Okay, your turn. Alright. I can attack. Yeah, you can attack, but it won't hit. Yeah. Stand and draw. What's the point of it then? Uh, I write two 
Blue Storm Dragon, Glory. No, it's not the Glory one. It's the normal Maelstrom. Yeah. But Axel. So, I'll get my rear guard circle. Then I will. Why do we have more cards then? Because <laughs> I got a draw trigger and you had to guard a lot of attacks in the last turn. Then, with Lazarus, uh, I will attack your Commodore Blue Blood. Seven. Sure. Then Maelstrom will attack your, let's say, Vanguard? No guard. First check. Second check. Draw trigger. I will give Here's all effects to Lazarus and draw one card. Okay. Damn it, check. God damn it. Then. Uh, Theo will attack your Vanguard for 18. That's 19. And then Tyranite Lazarus will attack for 22 to Vanguard. 22. Yeah, 22. Got it. Turn it. Okay, stand up. Go. Right off the Vanguard! Oh, spicy Ooh. top deck! For tech marker. Okay. Let's go now. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So he gets plus 5k. And a critical. What do I do? What do I do? Yeah. I guess we'll do this. Then skill of Beskar. Counter blast. And then soul blast. Get the light mask. And I will call the common the blue belt. Still 10 cards. Uh, he gets another plus 10k, plus 5k for each grade he counts. Hmm. I will attack the last rush for 9. I will let that one through. 27 to Vanguard with an executable. I will say perfect guard to that one. Okay. Drive check, no trigger, no trigger. Spicy, spicy indeed. Okay, now nine to rear guard. I will guard for 20. Yeah, end of turn. All right, stand. Then draw. And then this goes away. I will call Reptile Dragon. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I will attack for nine to Commodore Blue Blood once again. Nine, right? Nine. Click it on. Then I will attack for tw 12 to Vanguard. No guard. First check. Second check, draw trigger once again. Okay. <laughs> I will uh, give all effects to Teal and I draw one card. Mm -hmm. Man, the triggers are really on my side. Let <laughs> me check. God damn it. Uh, then Teal will attack for 28 to Vanguard. Yeah. Yeah. Feels bad now. Let me check. Draw trigger plus 10k to my Vanguard. And I draw a card. Then, because it's a four, uh, third yep. wave uh, uh, and it hit the finger, I can ditch two cards from my hand. I will ditch uh, King Wing Soldier and Battle Siren Vivian, or Bibian for the real translation. And then I can stand my Vanguard. Then I will attack once again to the Vanguard for 12. Intercept for five, two to pass. All right, first, heal trigger. I will give all effects to the Vanguard. Second check. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Then I will attack with Riptide, and his skill uh, is when he attacks the Vanguard, uh, when he attacks this turn, he will get a 20, uh, 20k increase. But his downside is that he has continuous effect that I can only attack with fourth wave or more. But because mm -hmm. this is the fifth attack this turn, I can attack for 32 to Vanguard. 
32, so I will protect that and ditch Dancer Cutlass. Alright, then I will give the turn to you. Okay, stand up and draw. Use the skill of Dancing Cutlass. Uh, I will bind one of those, then I mill one, that was, <laughs> and I can't charge. Okay. That's a bit unfortunate. A bit, or a lot. <laughs> <laughs> then the skill of Beskar. Soul Blast. Counter Blast. Then I will call... Yeah. I'll call Captain Nightmare. Captain Nightmare skill. Count Blast, call Dandy Camera Mario. Dandy Camera Mario skills activate. I have 10 or more cards in my drop zone. So he gets another plus 4k. And yet no other Commoner Blue. N yet still no other Commoner Blue in your drop zone? Nope. Sad life is sad life. Yeah, sad life. Okay. So, 17. Vanguard. Uh, 17 to 12. If he gets double crit, I'm dead. I'm gonna check one, three, first, four. There's only two there. <laughs> yes. And here is none because I got my triggers. Not yet. What do we do? I will perfect guard that. One. I don't like the risk. Yeah? Yes! First, you trigger. Here they come. Power to come with the blue blood. Second check. Come on. Yes, yeah, nothing. Okay. Then. 21 to Fia. Uh, let's see. I will guard it 1 for 20. Vanguard, this is 25. 25. I will say. Card that one, also. Yeah. Yeah, end of turn. Alright, stand. And draw. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I will rewrite to Naval Gazer Dragon. Mm -hmm. I'll gain once again another extra circle. Then I will call the title assault to that extra circle. Um, first, I will attack for 90 to the Vanguard. Use title assault skill once again to soul blast one card to immediately resend it. So 90 to Vanguard. 19, 22. Then I will attack uh, 12 to Vanguard, because his skill I should not to mention it last time. But is it third or more? Uh, it's the second uh, second battle or more of the turn or more. Oh, okay. So against another 3k. So it's 12 to Vanguard. Intercept with Captain Lightning. Alright. That's the second battle. Uh, then I'll attack for 18 to the Vanguard. Thank you, Lord. All right. Let's see. Let's see. No four pedal. Now the four pedal. So Riptide can attack. I will attack for forty-two to the Vanguard. Forty-two. Uh, thirty-two. Sorry, I said it wrong. Thirty-two. Um. Yeah. No guard. Come on. Nope. Then I will attack with the Vanguard. His skill will activate. I can count plus one. Uh, Reset one of my rearguards and my Vanguard gains an increase of 10, uh, 10k. So he will attack for 22 to the Vanguard. Okay. Um, no guard. Alright, let's see if I get a critical. First check, Tio. Second check, Tidal Assault. No trigger. Never check, and no. No thing. trigger once again. Now I'll attack the 19 to the Vanguard. Thank you, guard. And another 32 to the Vanguard. Yeah. 32, 37. He survived! Alright. Okay, let's go. Yeah? Yes, your turn. Stand and drop. Okay, triggers not like me. Plus 5k to the Vanguard. Plus 4k to Dandy Carol Mario. 
Then best curve skill. Yes. Um, there we go. Mario face now. Skill go. Yeah. Captain Life Mist. Captain Life Mist skill activate. I've done the cards and drop, so I can call any great. I call Dandy Camera Mario over Dance Cutlassing. Yes. Call uh, on top of it. Yep. Yeah. S uh, yeah. Uh, skill of Dancing Cutlass. Once again. Find. Mill. Nice. Count charge. Call. Then Dandy Camera Mario moves to the Control rear guard circle and then attack the vanguard for plus 10k because I can't get the five minutes. 27 33 to vanguard. 33? Uh, I will have to say no guard. Yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, sure. It's a critical. It has a critical, you need to have two okay. crits. Alright, I will survive this one. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Second check. You survive the whole turn. Alright, so first check, no trigger. Second check, front trigger, everybody, everybody plus 10k. Right then, um, okay, so I can only hit two rear guards now. So, 21 to title salt, 5k guard. I will guard with Dio. And that's it. This one can stack a bit of can, but All right. that's it. Time to look, look sick boy. Look sick. Time to heal. Alright, stand. I have never had this many rear guards with Aqua Force. Yeah. <laughs> Draw. Uh, let's let's increase the number, shall we? <laughs> Rewrite. Another Axel Circa. I'll move this one here. And I will call another title assault. So we're looking at one. I have I have two souls, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks! Can you guard that? <laughs> um, I can heal trigger. Alright, let's see how far you can go. First, title assault. I will soul blast one. You will reset again. 19 to Vanguard. Okay, time to do it. Heal trigger. Boys! No! Oh. Good, God game. Yeah. <laughs> Good game. Good <laughs> game. God damn it. So uh, welcome back, we are, uh, as you guys just saw, a very interesting matchup against Grand Blue and Aquaforce. Uh, yeah. And I have to say this has never really happened before when I played Aquaforce that I had this many rear guards at the end of the game. <laughs> I, I mean, everything worked out, worked out. I got my lucky triggers with the front trigger, so you couldn't really snipe my rear guards at some no. point. And the triggers were also in my favor early game. but. The crazy part is how that we could see how strong Aquaforce can be is the fact that I had my early rush basically perfectly yeah. done. I had my title assault, I had my Elgas on Vanguard Rigger Circle, and you didn't get any trigger. Yeah. So you were for, forced to guard excessively guards from your hand. And at that point you were sitting at uh, I believe two no, maybe three cards when yeah, I went three, into three my guards, when so. I went into my great freeze with Maelstrom. And at that point that's the moment that Maelstrom becomes the ma most amazing VR in the game yeah. because you need to take it, you need to take the rear guards, and then I can get an extra reset for basically for free because I don't have to waste any counter best. And in the other situation, Maelstrom won't be that great. But at the same time, it still was a bit scary at some point because I had I basically drawn all my heals. I had maybe only one heal left in the deck because and because of that fact. <laughs> If I didn't got the second PG in hand, I think I couldn't have to guard your both uh, the last two Basker turns. And if I couldn't guard Basker twice, I would be dead because of his free critical. Yeah, at that moment I had like five criticals left in deck. So I was like... <laughs> you're gonna drive check no. two crits. I was like, you're gonna drive check two crits. Yeah, and the next draw was like, oh, there's a critical <laughs> trigger. Yeah, thanks. Thanks very much. But yeah. But I didn't attack the, uh, the Dio early, uh, earlier because I knew uh, Riptides was coming. And 42 was a very big number against me and I couldn't guard it at all. 
and 32 I could guard with a heal trigger on hand and an intercept. So that was the reason why I did attack Theo. And it's also a bit really smart move because Theo is it's an okay attacker on his own because he still has the hit, hit effect. But you basically really wanted to have it as a booster. And because it's now stuck on an axle circle, I can get something like a Tidal Assault or an Elgos yeah. or Riptide on that same axle circle because I can have the intercept with it. So because you let it stuck there, I needed to rewrite to have an extra axle circle to have access to a yeah. more interesting card that can abuse it. So that was really smart of you and a little bit annoying in the early game. Yeah. So I needed to... I, st I was sitting on a uh, naval gazer from my opening hand with, with the uh, Millstrom, but I was still contemplating if I wanted to rewrite earlier or not because I still was like, is the Millstrom effect still going to help me? And because you were sitting at four damage, you're like, nah, now it's a good time to go naval gazer, but then you healed. So I was like, am I going to take that gamble? In the end, I did choice uh, take the choice, but uh, it. If you got the first trigger wasn't uh, if you got the first damage was a trigger then that was the bad the uh, yeah. not the good bet to make yeah because this was 19 I believe 19 18 four, uh, uh, four, 14 this one uh, no I didn't have this one in turn this is only that I have oh uh, yeah th this was my field it was like it was 12 won't hit it was 19 won't hit it was 18 yeah. also won't hit I will basically only have these two left yeah and I was really scared of the uh, um, of the form trigger because. If you had a front trigger, I couldn't guard it at all. So I had to guard early um, uh, for, so, uh, to protect me from all the uh, from taking damage. Because if he hit me with 22, then 29, then 28, I couldn't guard it at all, and I would sit at six damage immediately. So yeah, and the, the the funny part is I only got one front trigger, and it was the one defensive. And that's also a good showcase of how good front triggers in defensive state are yeah. again for Axel Clans. Because if you couldn't hit, if I just got a normal trigger, you would just snipe my rear guards with all your attacks, and I still am wasting my hand. With front triggers, I'm guarding everything with only one effect. So those front triggers are a lot, a lot more better than I personally think they are given credit to most people because most people are just crit fanatics. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I can I can understand why, but. Uh, the, there's also a really awkward dynamic with front triggers in that regard, but also crit triggers with naval gazers because in naval gazers' case you want to attack with it as late as possible because in most cases you want to reset rip Tri dragon because that's the most yeah. offensive uh, attack sure. that you get off it. But at the same time, then if you already attack with everything else because naval riptide needs to be your fourth attack, then a front trigger won't do anything because this is rested, this is rested, this is rested. I only have two cards where the front trigger will activate for yeah. it. Yeah, but you have a lot of cards to reset, and so because. This is the four, uh, first, second, in theory, uh, third, then, to activate the skill. Uh, and this will be the fourth. Then you have like this standing, this standing, this standing, uh, this and this. So what's the matter? Yeah, I had yeah. like nine attacks in the last turn. So in the last turn, it didn't really matter that much. But in the f in the first uh, Navigator uh, Dragon turn, it's a little bit awkward in most cases. But when you have this kind of a field, yeah. it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, this is just like how you want to play Aqua Force, man. And this is like how you brick with... Well, you you, st you top deck the uh, your yeah. was it also what was the last card in hand when you top deck this one didn't have any great three in hand because I believe it was you, you put that one in soul with yeah. your uh, I I believe it was the Danny Carol Mario or something uh, something like no it it was Captain Nightmares oh right so I was like some yeah and. My drop zone wasn't ideal to call something from. Yes, I could call a yeah, Norman. You, but you didn't have any uh, skull dragons in your drop nope, zone, right? There are still in my deck. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, there's here and here. So they're all stacked in the bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, I only played three of them, so yeah, the four and here. Wait, yeah. It sometimes happens, but still, it's you can see how even though you're breaking with the deck. Grand Blue still have a lot of oppression because yeah. of it uh, continues that you're able to uh, superior call units from your field so you can keep rebuilding your field. So with my extra attacks, if you get a trigger and I can snipe the rear guards, but in most cases, it won't be that effective against other type of clans. Sure, the counter blast is at some point you're wasting all your resources and you cannot yeah. do that anymore, but you're 
be able to keep fueling that fire a lot more uh, lo for a longer time than, let's say, Kagero, for example. If Kagero lo loses his rear guards, they're just yeah. attacking with the vanguard and it's done. Yeah, and it's just rather fun when you could guard at all because you don't lose any cards on the on the mm -hmm. rear guard attacks. Exactly, and the free crit is still so oppressive that yeah. you always, you basically always um, are forced to guard that thing to a no pass. Or yep. go to uh, n no guard at all because if you're wasting cards and it still hits because of a lucky trigger, you're getting that extra crit always to your face. And basically, that's you're playing against Grand Blue. You're basically playing with only two uh, three damage <laughs> because yeah. of the crit. Yeah. <laughs> but then you have many uh, soul blast rear guards, so it doesn't need any uh, counter pass to work around it. So. No, yeah. no, I had, I had lucky with my uh, the cards I got because if I got my algos uh, that were sitting at bottom apparently, <laughs> the algos would eat all my counter blast uh, away. And I didn't use uh, Milstrom's counter blast at all because my units that I had on the field, I didn't f think thought that yeah. the extra 3k would matter because this will become a 21k yeah. and that won't do anything. Yeah, and I was like over with Captain Nightwish because this is a 21 column. It's so awkward to get back with. But. The yeah. same as this, it will become a 15 and this will become a 30, uh, 30, uh, 35. So the extra 3k w wouldn't do anything for my field. So that's why I didn't use the counter blast to those two turns. And that's why I was sitting at with the uh, with still counter blast left when I went into Naval Gazer. So it's yeah. because I didn't get my counter blast cards. Because in most matchups, counter blast will go fast with Aquaforce. Yeah, and then you have the lightsaber ping <laughs> No, yeah. I didn't have the last AP because it was my grade one right. It was my damage, and then I needed to discard it for my PG. I I I basically played all my pingers. I mean, I have maybe only one left in deck. Yeah, I only have one left in deck, yeah. and for the rest, it's all. I didn't have a lot of triggers left either, like two crits, really? two fronts, and a draw because. I hit two draws in a row, and I got uh, three heals in my in basically my first draw turns. I got all my heals. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I I started out with just a heal trigger, a crit trigger, and I think also another crit trigger. So I was like, a lot of triggers are in my hand, and I don't like it. So if I mill all the triggers out of my deck, then I I'm done. So I can't kill him anymore. So or heal it. Yeah. But yeah, overall an interesting matchup and. And this time it was in favor of uh, the Navy. Yeah. Cause, uh, and the Pirates did this time lo uh, lo loss. But that's most certainly not always the case. So maybe in the future when we do another uh, Grand Blue vs. Aqua Force matchup, maybe yeah. Grand Blue is the one that's going to uh, be reign supreme. Best kick will win all always. But not this time. But not this time, folks. No. So, but we see you guys in, in the, the next time. Next video, and maybe with you uh, with Dave again. Oof. Who knows? Oof. Yeah, OTT man, let's do this. What OTT against what? Against Grand Blue. Oh, you want to play OTT against Grand yeah, Blue? Yeah, sure. All right, next time. <laughs>